Holly and I just finished a six month round trip of Australia and we did it living in this Land Cruiser right here. So I'm gonna take you guys around the car, show you the ins and outs, bit of a memory for us and also just a bit of a show off for you guys. So hope you enjoy. So I'm just gonna start off with the outside of the car and what, uh, what we put on. So we sorted out this bull bar, big steel ARB bull bar that I fitted and sorted. And they came with these big spotlights. They're just some light force things. Didn't really get much use out of them. Uh, GME antenna, didn't really use that. I think it might be a little bit broken, but it looks cool, so that's all right. Um, underneath, we got, we've got a two inch old man emu lift kit. And these are 33 inch uh, Bridgestone jewelers. And they did really well, except I lost one to a massive puncture. So we ended up getting uh, these uh, second hand tires, Cooper Discoveries, um, and they've been great as well. Uh, on the outside, other than that, not many other mods on the outside of the car, other than of course, what's up here, which is a massive um, aluminium custom made roof rack, which is so good, it weighs nothing, um, and obviously fits all of that up there. Oh, and can't forget the Safari snorkel, put a little homemade snorkel sock on there. Uh, that just kept us high and dry, I suppose, when we were in the, the uh, deeper waters. Uh, I'll pop the bonnet here, and I'll show you under here, where we have our third battery. So that's our third battery, and that's our charger, which runs off the alternator, so that will charge that up. And that goes all the way from there, out to the back and comes out just here. So that's uh, just a, like a European SIG socket and then a standard SIG socket. And then under here is where our fridge plugs in. So that was all we needed really power wise. Uh, and now I'll show you guys the inside. <laughs> I completely forgot to point out what was on the roof. Uh, so this is our Max Tracks. Uh, I use them I think once we got bogged and there's just a really soft spot in Coral Bay on the way home. Uh, this is just a King's awning. It's, it's all right. It's just whatever. Cheap, so it does the trick. Shovel up there for digging holes for you know what. Um, and this is actually a little storage box up here. So in here we just kept rubbish, um, cardboard for recycling, anything like that. And this is our gas bottle, which we brought down for cooking whenever we needed it. And that's our King's Quickie tent. And I'll, uh, I'll pop the tent uh, in a minute so you guys can have a little look at what our, our bedding was like. But now for the inside of the car. So this is obviously the driver's side here and the side pockets there. We've just got, I know, books and a fish measurement thing. That's what our little soap bars look like. They're a little bar of soap in this little, I just like an exfoliator thing, but it worked well for us. Um, nothing really done in here too much. Um, it's got an aftermarket stereo thing, so that was great for music around. I mean, just the touch screen there had sat nav in it, but probably used it once. Uh, on the dash, we didn't really keep much, but there's a squid jig when we got into it towards the end and a toilet um, paper roll as tissues because we could not be bothered buying tissue boxes. Uh, there's our little whale thing that Holly bought before we left, which is beautiful and got the uh, air freshener to keep it fresh in here because we lived in this thing. Um, here is our uh, atlases. So there's an atlas there that my Uncle Dave um, got for me and one here as well that uh, my Nana got me as well. And just some other things that was from Cairns, I think. Of course, we kept all our books and brochures and whatnot. On Holly's side, you've got the sun visor things, so they just fold out and go on the windscreen there. Uh, that's hand sanitizer because of COVID and whatnot. Um, plugged in here, we always had two phone chargers. That's my phone charger, Holly's phone charger. And then this third one runs to here and charged up our GoPro batteries. Uh, this is just a little walkie talkie that we borrowed off of Emma and Jack because uh, our one down here, I don't know why, it just didn't seem to want to work for a bit, but that did the treat, did the trick rather. Um, in the glove box, we've got a bone that we found. Um, and this is just some GoPro gear, a little handle for the GoPro, some flags that Holly bought for her room, 
Um, that's just a service book. A level, this was so handy. So we just, we chucked this right there. And obviously not very level now, but we would pop that right there and that would tell us if our tent was gonna be uncomfortable or not. Cause it sucks when you're on a tilt and you're just sleeping, rolling into each other the whole night. Uh, mosquito nets for our heads. Cause the flies got pretty bad at times. And that's just receipts and more booklets and pamphlets and really not much else. Uh, in here, these are just some gifts that we got people in a book I was reading. In here, we didn't keep just like some, some grab, grab, grabbing stuff like coins and uh, Stanley knife, not Stanley knife, Swiss Army knife, um, watch, some Telfast and a flashlight was great and earplugs that was very handy in the rooftop tent if we we're anywhere near a road um, or it was raining it got pretty loud so it was very helpful to have that other than that and here there's not much else at the top some SD cards and a bit of gum and receipts down here we had this is where we keep the camera that's inside right now um, some more hand sanitizer charging cables um, sorry, charging cables some more medicine like travel calm or something that's some film on a headlight rather just a few random things had it all not much else exciting in there i think that's it for the front uh yep sunglasses in there for my sunglasses and that's it for the front so i'll take you guys around to the back now so this is what each of our sides look like looks like without the stuff in it um, this is Holly's side here, all empty now because we dropped her home, sadly, only like a little while ago, uh, uh, we said goodbye uh, for the first time in so long, so this is our first night away from each other in six months, which is pretty crazy to think because it's been such a breeze, um, but I'll roll her clip now of her showing off her side. Hi, and welcome to my bedroom, so I'll show you what my setup was, so on this side, I have my things, so I have lots of books and drawing things and little games and things like that. And then here are my clothes boxes, very full but very efficient. And then just under here I have my toiletries box, which looks messy but is organised clutter. Here I've got, under here there's a lot of room, it's very deceiving, so I've got bags of clothes and bathers and a snorkel kit and shoes and lots of other items and then down the side of my boxes and behind the boxes I have heaps of things I've got more shoes I've got bags I've got books so yeah this has been my little setup for the past six months and it has been perfect right so now that I have you guys back I'll show you what one of our sides looks like with everything in it so this is my side here uh, very very busy and packed here are our, our two boxes, we both obviously had one each, like you saw in Holly's video. Um, clothes for me as well, I uh, kept like an extra bag or two back here, uh, that's the bag there. Um, an extra jacket, I kept my reel somewhere in here as well at some point. Uh, had tech, some, some like a laptop, a drone, um, and then we had a fan we used to use in Darwin because it got really humid and gross. Um, other than that, that's it for the top bit. Uh, down here, I've got my snorkel gear, fishing gear, boots. There's a toolbox in there as well. Some jumper leads, just some important stuff to keep us going if we needed to. That's just another bag of just rope and tape and stuff. Uh, weather jacket as well. Ukulele, which I played twice probably <laughs> around the whole country, but that's all right. Um, it's also worth mentioning uh, that in here, uh, we keep from the front seat. You can always grab the first aid kit, which in it has everything we need um, if anything happens, uh, and an EPER um, personal locator beacon. So we could pop that if we were ever lost anywhere. So always good to have that and keep that safety measure there at all times. Just here is our awning room tent. So once you have the awning room, so the awning out, uh, you attach that and you have like a big two and a half by two and a half metre uh, room to hang out so we use that for Christmas as a bit of a protective thing to have lunch it was a bit windy uh, both of our chairs down there so chair chair table that's the ladder for the um for the tent and then we had like a beach umbrella down here uh, and down there is a weed sprayer that I attached a, sh um, 
a shower head nozzle thing too and we showered with that a few times and we couldn't get to um to a shower in time and also down there is a stool with a hole in it so holly could pee on the side of the road <laughs> Uh, other than that, I think that's it from my side. It's also up here, I made these little racks, I'll take this down, with uh, a bit of conduit holder and some screws and a little bit of wood that runs between these two handles. And there's also another one that runs along here as well. It's pretty dark in here because we have these on every single window, the solar, solar shades. So that kept everything a bit cooler in the hotter places. Um, but back up to here, We've got boogie board, surfboard, all the way along there, and my rod, rod and reel. So we had plenty of gear to, to use around, um, and we caught some fish and surfed a bit. So we got plenty of use out of all that, and having this rack up here just gave us like so much more space. Uh, I will take you now to the back of the car, which is where the magic happens. This was our kitchen for the trip, so we were popping this open, roadsides, anytime we really got the chance, we would, well, the chance where we needed to eat, so we were popping this open all the time. Just getting this table out here. So this is the table that sits and hangs off of this bit here. Uh, I don't know if I rate it because it's got all these sharp, yucky, awful bits where you can just cut yourself. Like, look at that. That is just like a knife edge almost, but it's pretty dangerous. But, um, yeah, it did the trick. This is a good little table to have out. It can take a bit of weight. Uh, these are the drawers from Kings. They do the trick in here. This is all just kitchen stuff. Pots, pans, Tupperware containers, percolator that Lee gave us in South Australia. That was good fun to use. Um, chopping boards, mugs, cutlery, uh, and a coffee plunger for when we wanted coffee, which was often. In here it's just knives and um, other cutlery, little brushes that we use to do our dishes with. Uh, on this side, this we kept a bit of a random assortment of things. So anything from spray cleaner and dishing washing, um, laundry liquid, sorry, to ridge, to spotlights, to extra tables, to sunscreen, to rope, <laughs> extra plastic bags, a hatchet if we needed it, which was very handy for hammering in pegs, tape, uh, dustpan and broom, and just a heap of just other stuff that was just necessary. But the further down you dig, the further you find things that we didn't touch as much. So the stuff at the top is the stuff we actually used. Uh, that's pretty much it for that drawer. And on the side of the drawers, we always kept four of these. So we've got two down this bit, which is 40 litres there, and then another two. There's one, you can just see it through there. One in here. And then there's one tucked behind these boxes here, and I'll get into these boxes in a second. But first, down here, we've got our air compressor there, so deflating the tires, pumping up the tires, etc. with all this, which is very handy, good little bit of kit to have when you're remote. Our sleeping bag, which we thought we'd need to use, but the duvet that we brought, um, which I'll take you up to the tent to show, um, was great, like it kept us warm in Tassie when it was really icy, uh, and in summer, like in the summer, the, the dry season up north, it wasn't too hot, it was pretty bearable to have it. So yeah, we didn't really need the sleeping bag. Uh, here is our stove. It's a bit dirty, so I won't get it out, but just a Coleman Hyperflame um, Fire Night 2, I think it is. Did really good around the country, ran it with that gas bottle up there. And it just did everything we needed, boiled, cooked anything we needed. Um, did the trick, really. Um, down this bit is the basket that we use to wash our dishes so this just spans and pops up on both sides and you got a solid container to do all your dishes in that was great to have down there just another tupperware container and some uh paper towels to clean whatever we needed to do um up here it's a tea towel we usually hang this something like that so that it would help dry it out a little bit during the day uh, and in these boxes here I'll try and show you I'll tuck this away these boxes here. This was, our, this was our snack box, so anything from father beans and muesli bars. It's pretty empty now because we tried to kind of get through a bit of the stuff, but yeah, salt, pepper, oil, whatever for cooking, the basics, and in here, uh, more long term stuff. Well, not long term, like bigger items like cans and 
pasta sauce, um, curry sauces, flour, um, just bigger, bulkier items that we didn't need to get to every day. And of course here is the legendary angle fridge that Polly's granddad lent us for the trip, which was absolutely great. So it just slides out. By the way, this is broken as well. So that should have a latch on it to hold it there, but um, it doesn't anymore. So pull that out as much as you can. A little zip there, zip here, and then a little latch there. And then bang, 40 liters, plenty enough for us. Still running because it's uh, pretty cold out, so this will run for a while before the battery goes flat. But I'll be taking that out and cleaning that very soon because we don't need it anymore. We're uh, we're done. We're home. Here's just some books that got wet, so we're trying to dry them out. And this is such a cool little item that we went so long without, kind of falling apart. But effectively, these things fold up, and you can lean your toast on it and put it on straight onto the stove. And you've got toast in the morning and it's like proper toast it's really good it works so much better than like frying up bread which is just a mission and doesn't actually achieve anything um i probably missed something but i think for the most part that's everything in the actual car i mean there's that another one of those solar screens there's my reel in case anyone's wondering what i was using i'm not very good at fishing and i don't really know much about this reel or the rod but it worked, caught a few fish, and that was all it needed to do. Uh, other than that, I think that's mostly everything for the inside of the car. Um, under here is where we kept our spare. It's like the factory spot. So that was, yeah. I only had to take that out twice around Australia, so I can't really complain too much about that. Uh, other than that, the car's a 2008 200 series Land Cruiser. We started with uh, 218,000 Ks on the clock, and we're something like 248 now so about 30,000 the whole way around the country and um i've got the spreadsheet i've got a spreadsheet of what we spent on fuel and food and everything as well so i might make a video about that just to show you guys what it cost us around the country um other than that i just have to get up into the tent now and show you what our little bedroom looks like all right so if i take you up here up our little ladder here is our bedroom for the last six months it looks pretty shabby, but I tell you what, it did the trick. It was very comfortable. So under here, we've got extra padding, so it's nice and soft and you don't rub your hip into the bottom of it. Very comfortable pillows that did us the trick. And nice, this is our warm duvet that we had. Very, very comfortable, very nice. And up here, you've got some pockets to chuck whatever you need, uh, flashlights and anything that we brought up. And it was just a really good tent, plenty of areas to vent. And there's like a little thing here, these pegs that you take out, that you can make these things kind of hang out and stick out from the car. So you've got a bit of an awning so the rain doesn't get in if you still need airflow. Um, other than that, very good tent. Uh, for 500 or 600 bucks or something, it's just such a good tent. It really is. It's just incomparable. All the other options, you're talking two, three grand. So this is definitely the tent to get if you're on a budget. Other than that, that's the entire setup. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed seeing how we lived for the last six months. It was pretty shabby, but it was a great way to spend the last six months. So, hope you enjoyed.